Hello and welcome back to Dimension Quest. This week I'll be upgrading my workstation from Fedora 38 to Fedora 39. I won't be using a terminal or any console prompt at all. I'm only going to be using the graphical user interface to do this upgrade. So for any of you Windows users out there, just know that you can very easily upgrade your Linux environment from one version to the next with just a graphical interface. Now that I've gotten logged in here, I'm going to go to the top right corner and press that little power button. That'll give me my settings where I can review my overall system configuration. On the left hand side, I'll scroll all the way down to about and click on that. We can see here that uh, my hardware model is my motherboard. You can see my graphics, the OS, Fedora Linux 38. And at the very bottom, we have software updates. Now, before applying a system-wide OS upgrade, you want to make sure that you apply all of your app updates. So that's what I'll do here. I've clicked download and I've sped up the video by about 600 times so that we can reduce that five minutes, 51 seconds down to a much shorter period. Okay, the application updates are complete. So next I'll show you another way to get to the software update. Just click the little nine dots there and select software. You can also use the command button or the Windows keyboard to bring up that first menu and then just type software to get the software updates. Once I click over to updates, I see that Fedora Linux 39 is available. So I went ahead and click download. And again, I'll speed this up because this took just over 17 and a half minutes. The operating system has been updated and that was the final reboot. So let's go take a look at our system settings again. And we've got the about selected. We can see Fedora Linux 39. So the upgrade is complete. And we can take a look at our system details to see any other information there. Now, prior to me doing this update, I did make sure that I had a full system backup of my Fedora OS as well as an image-based backup to an external drive, just in case anything went wrong. Fortunately, everything's looking good here. There's no further updates available. So I'll go ahead and close out of these. And since the, one of the primary use cases of this workstation is to do DaVinci Resolve editing, let's make sure that DaVinci actually runs after the update. Now I've got DaVinci down here pinned to my bar. And when I click on it, I see the little spinning icon, but it never launches. Rather than recording the troubleshooting here in this video, I've recorded a separate video. I'll link that in the top right corner here. And that'll get you through the issue of 
DaVinci Resolve not launching on Fedora 39. So this wraps up this week's video. Thanks for watching and have a great week.